Girl, you can barely tell it's a closure unless the wind blow real hard, but nobody know. Listen long, long enough if you can love me. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, I'm back with somebody else's hair, and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. I can't even sip this. It's black tea. I got Invisalign in. I don't know why I explained all that to you, but I just did. It fakes it. Y'all see all this hair on my head? I feel like it's distracting. If you're a curly girl and you love a lot of curly hair, girl, this, this video is for you, and it's easy to apply because it's a closure wig. This wig on my head is absolutely gorgeous i want y'all to take a look like look at all this hair girl i feel like it's touching my ankles you can't even spell prop you see what i'm saying but before i hop on into the details for this wig i'm gonna ask y'all to subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time i post because i'm coming to you every single week with brand new scouts and wigs and things i feel like i need to quit saying scouts because that sounds real morbid <laughs> now let's go ahead and get into this wig i want to say thank you to nadula hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video so this wig is a 5x5 hd transparent lace closure wig it is 180 percent density and it is 32 inches long yes i said it so this wig like i said is a curly texture wig if you pop the hood on this wig you can see if you look up under the cap you see that it comes with it comes with three combs adjustable strap and adjustable straps in the back the great thing about this wig is that you're able to wear this wig glueless if you prefer but this wig is a closure wig that is extremely versatile because you can wear it glueless or you can wear it with adhesive or whatever you put on there to stick it to your forehead you can stick it to your forehead if you wanted the girls like me this wig if you were to look at the hairline as you can see it's really really versatile i'm going to show you how i apply my wigs to make them look a little bit less closury and a little bit more frontally i don't think those are words but you know what i'm saying if you want to see everything that i did to apply this wig and get more details on this wig please keep on watching and i'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code let's go ahead and get started we're gonna make this quick because this is a closure wig we not gonna drag this out so we're gonna start with our base my little base Tiana always starts with a wig grip I keep it really simple and easy I don't braid my hair I try not to damage my hairline because girl I'm 35 girl we can't we can't play with our hairlines no more and then I take my wig cap plop it over top and I slide it back a little bit just so you don't catch the wig grip at the front of my head. But this is it, girl. This the base. Look at all this hair. Going, 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 go. Girl. Let's go ahead and pop her on real quick. Let's see what it looks like. Pull the wig on forward. Ooh. Okay. So. Oh, yes. It don't even fit into the frame, friend. Let's see, let's go ahead and deal with our lace. It actually looks like it's gonna blend into my skin pretty well. So this is what the knots look like. Can you tell? Let me zoom y'all in real quick. Can you see the knots after they've been bleached? Now, one thing I noticed about this wig is that the knots are pretty thick. Like they seem like they're double, it's not single knotted, like, they did bleach really fast which is great but they are a little bit thick so i do think bleaching the knots would be in your best interest so do i need to plug this because i really don't when i say i don't feel like it girl but in the meantime we need to tint this lace so i'm gonna go ahead and use the same lace tint spray i'm gonna use the same lace tint spray that i love using this lace tint spray is the flawless illusion by kellen derrick lace tint spray shipping is bad product is good bye at your own risk okay so i'm gonna take this wig off and we're gonna tint the lace tinting the lace for me make sure the wig is my skin tone without adding cakiness in order for me to tint my lace what i like to do is turn my wig inside out i'm going to go ahead and spray down this wig spray down just the lace on the inside so i'm gonna take my uh like a makeup brush girl it is <laughs> It looks like a broom at this point. So I'm just gonna blend this in. Okay. 
In order to set in the color, what I like to use is a blow dryer with a diffuser. And I like to blow dry it on high and warm just to set in that color and make sure it's not moving around, so. And what I also like to do is lay down a couple of baby hairs. I like for my closures to look like frontals. Or at least make them look like a frontal, like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I put a little baby hair in there. This one kind of dirty, but it's all right. So I'm gonna take my Eco Styler gel and I'm gonna dig out some baby hairs. This is a five by five closure, so it can only be like on this lower part of my head. So that'll work. The edges are down, you see? Let's go ahead and plop this on. Now, although I'm not a fan of plucking these days because it takes way too long, I feel like this one needs to be plucked. I take my tweezers and I'm gonna pluck this hairline just a little bit because as you can see, like it's just looking a little bit too thick -ums. And this is way too much hair to be thick up in the hairline. So when I pluck my hairline, all I like to do is pull this hair back. What I'm gonna do is just pluck in between. And I like to pluck before I apply the wig. I see people do it like afterwards and I'm like, why? why? How do y'all do that? I just gotta pull my wig off. So I kind of pluck in front of the hairline and behind the hairline on both sides just to thin it out a bit. As I said, some of these knots are a little bit thick. So I just wanna thin this out. So I'm gonna keep plucking. I don't know if you'd be able to tell at first, but once we get in there, y'all be able to see it. Ooh, okay. So, We've plucked the hairline. I don't even know how much if we plucked enough, but it's enough for me, girl. I ain't got time. She been plucked good. So next, what I'm gonna do is flatten my hairline. So not straighten, flatten, flatten. I don't like straight roots and curly hair. I just like just a little flat right here in the front. I'm going to use my Andis hot comb. Had her for years, girl. She's, she's, she's not okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. And while I heat this up, I'm going to take my wax stick. You already know I use the same wax stick. I use the same products I always use because I, I mean like what else I'm gonna do? Buy more stuff. So I'm gonna use my ZLA Hairline Master wax stick. You can use other wax sticks from Amazon. I think wax is wax. I don't know how fancy can wax get. So this is my wax stick, the ZLA wax stick. And what I like to do is pull the hairline back and just hit the hairline with some wax. Yeah, just the hairline. We're not going through the roots, we're just going straight to the hairline, straight to the source. So I'm gonna take the hot comb here. Ooh, she hot, hot. And I'm gonna pull the wig back. Y'all know I don't play about my forehead. So what I'm gonna do is, oh, girl, that hairline is thick. Hold on. Oh, baby, I may need to pluck some more. Hold on. <laughs> I think a little bit more application can help. Just back here. Okay, so let's look at a little bit better. Y'all think I should pluck some more? I'm not plucking them all. <laughs> I don't know how I like to do an off-center part, so that's what I'm gonna do. I love a good off-center. So, it's kinda in the center, but then kinda not. Was she trying to do a center part, or was she trying to do a side part, both? Both. Okay, so I think this looks good. So, I plucked as much as I wanted to. <laughs> not as much as I could, as much as I wanted to, because I don't feel like doing no more. So I'm gonna go back in and re-flatten the hairline, just to make sure I got everything Flattened up like I like. I feel like that looks a lot better, right? Right, y'all responding to me and saying right, right, right. <laughs> and next, we're gonna go ahead and cut our lace so we can just apply the wig. I feel like the lace is gonna blend perfectly. So I'm gonna cut my lace using my Annie shears like I always do. Great thing about closure wigs is that you don't have to deal with ear tabs. Ear tabs really, really don't want you to have fun. Put this back, and next I'm gonna take my scissors, and we're just gonna 
zigzag cut. Now that that is cut, we can go ahead and apply the wig. Girl, this about to look good. I already know it. Now you can wear this wig glue. You can wear this glueless. Like, look at it. Oh, I wish I bleached these knots better because y'all won't be able to touch me. Ew. In order to apply the wig, I'm going to use my favorite spray. I'm almost out of this can too. I overuse this spray. But this is the um Even Wonder Lace Bond Spray in, ex in the Extreme Black Can. It's really, really simple. This is perfect for beginners. And this is one of those throw on and go wigs too. All you gotta do is put down some baby hairs and you set, but oh girl, this is a mess. Oh girl. <laughs> I really be hell bent on making a mess. Spraying it like air freshener. Okay. Boom. Okay. I feel like a child because I don't have nowhere to wear to wipe my hands. Like I just ate some flaming hots and I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. And next I'm gonna Okay, I'm gonna pull this gel and apply the wig. Like so. Okay, I don't know where my camera died, but I'm also going to take my end of my baby hair brush there's like a comb end on this one and i'm just gonna make sure that the lace is sitting like so now my forehead a little bit shiny okay it's a little shiny judge me if you want to but you know your forehead be shiny too the hairline is set baby it's looking good like really it's looking good so next i'm gonna lay down some baby hairs now the reason why we do baby hairs especially on closure wigs is to cover up this little section right here because it's girls a clip it just be looking funny without the baby hairs so if you're not a baby hair girl don't let the wind blow okay so what i like to do is take baby hairs in the area that the closure ends and okay, I'm gonna take this piece and now the girls say you're supposed to cut from the bottom up, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut from the top down, okay? So I take some hair, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut this down. I like short baby hairs, so but I'm gonna cut these a little bit longer because they're supposed to cover up this teeny tiny little closure piece. I'm gonna take my baby hair brush and my got to be glue gel. I'm almost out of it finally because I've had this got to be glue gel for years. Does got to be glue gel expire? Expire? Can you have moldy got to be glue gel? Like, is that a thing? I'm gonna take the got to be glue gel onto my baby hair brush and swoop de doo. And I really like to cover up that piece so we're not out in the streets. Ooh. Oh wow, that is a thick baby hair. That is a temple bang. That's a temple bang. Why it look like that? Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to this side. We're gonna lay down a baby hair. Actually, this looks pretty good. But we're gonna lay down a baby hair in this area. So the baby hairs is laid down. Baby, it looks like it's giving eyelashes on my temples. Like, <laughs> whatever child. We just gonna lay this down because what I'm not, I, I ain't playing. I so I'm gonna take some rapid strips and I'm gonna quit smacking like that. That's really annoying. I'll pull my hair back first. Well, whoever hair this is, I'll pull this hair back. Take a rapid strip just so we can melt this hairline. Oh wait, I need to do one last thing. I gotta add a little gel to it, I forgot. I take a little bit of got to be glue gel and to make sure this hairline don't go nowhere and I can get like the slickness. I be brushing this part back. I don't know if I should be doing this, but I be doing it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit cause I don't want this to get stuck, you know what I'm saying? 
got a blow dryer right next to me and I insist on using my hand. Just insist. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Put this person's hair up. <laughs> and pull this back and wrap it around the hairline. And then I'm gonna take my elastic band from Nadula and I'm gonna take this, oh, this elastic band, wrap it around, and we're gonna melt this hairline. Okay, so while the hairline is melting, I'm gonna add some mousse because we need to get these curls popping because I, I don't think I messed them up completely, which is good, but this is a lot of hair. So, so this is what the hair looks like after it's been washed. The curls are beautiful, but I need to define some of these curls. So the curls I wanna define are the curls in the front. So I need to define these. Well, the hair in the front, but especially these curls. But I'm not gonna go through all of the hair because I find that that takes too long, girl. And I only got all this hair, 32 inches of hair. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Who's that? What's that boy's name that has, um, or that person's name that has cur long, long, long curly hair? I think their name is Geo's Wave or something. It's giving very much that. I don't know how he does it. Girl, I don't know how he does it. Okay. For this hair, because I do not feel like going through every single strand and adding mousse to it, I'm just gonna do the ends and just kinda touch them up a little bit. So Y'all know the mousse I like to use. Bam! <laughs> I like to use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I like to use this. And I'm just gonna add it to the ends of the hair. I'm gonna work in like maybe not even four sections. I'm just gonna add it like to this bottom part, the ends here, because the ends are looking really dry. And then I'll do the top and then that'll be it. So girl, it's gonna be really, really simple. I use, girl, I'm so, I'm so happy I figured out how to do this because I used to be in here just brushing and then I had to wait hours for it to dry. So that's like a whole lot. So I'm gonna take the mousse. Even though this is a lot of hair, once you get to the, it's not super thick. It's not dense at the end, so that's good. Take my, y'all already know, say it with me, the Evolve 572 brush. I've had this same exact brush for, I think it's been at least five years. So I'm just gonna brush through the ends and let them clump together a bit. Add some moisture to it. I feel like I should go up a little bit higher. Okay, we already know where this is going. Too much. <laughs> like a little bit more. Ooh. Oh God, this is thick. <laughs> this way gotta be me. Oh baby. Yes. Is this good enough? I feel like this is good enough because I'm not. I feel like if the roots are, especially at the bottom, if the roots are still puffy, I'm okay with that. I just want the ends to be like curly. Do you see the difference? I don't think there's much of a difference, but you can see how they're clumped together. I'm just gonna add a little bit more mousse to the ends because they are a tad bit dry, but I'm okay with that. Can we use this section and then I'll do this section separately. So I'm gonna do this part in the back and then this part here, but I'm gonna do the same thing as I work through the hair. So let's keep going. I wanna to listen to Rodney, the voice. And as I get closer to the top, I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer to the roots because I do want those curls to be a little bit more defined. So let's keep going.
y'all, this is ooh, the finished look. Let me tell y'all something, <laughs> okay? I was windmilling over here because this is so much hair. And I've done, I think, two other wigs with this length and this density, like very thick, very curly. And one thing I know for sure is that I have to do layers. If I don't, I feel like Cousin It. I feel like a Star Wars character. I don't, <laughs> baby, I was cutting wow, okay? Cutting wow all up and over the place. But it ended up looking cute. I love it. Let me show you what it looks like here. Oh, that's what it looks like in the back. Girl, it's giving choppy. Okay, it's giving chopped Sally. That's what it looks like in the back. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Is it a little? But I love how it looks with the layers. Um, it looks more realistic, full, and less weighted on my facial shape, so. This is the finished look. I wanna show y'all the hairline as well. Let's get in here. Let me pull y'all close. Get up close, take a look at the lace. You see that? It's melted, okay? It's giving HD at now. I really don't think I needed to add lace tint, but you must rather be safe than sorry. It does blend in beautifully. Now let's go ahead and get into the cons because I was talking about the positive parts, but let's go ahead and get into my criticisms or the cons of this wig. Now, I do think that you should bleach your knots on this wig because as you can see, I don't know if you can tell after applying the wig, they're not that big now, but I noticed that the knots are a little bit thicker. I'm not sure if they did that to add more hair to the closure, but the knots are a little bit thicker and they show up a little bit more. So if you are not going to bleach your knots, make sure you use the makeup, whatever, or, um, What's that knot? What is it called? I'll leave a link for it down below, but it's a black owned brand where they cover your knots. Also, the hairline is a little bit thicker than I'm used to as well. So I do think, unless you like thicker hairlines or it fits your face shape, plucking the hairline will be beneficial to add to making this wig look more realistic because baby, it was thick, okay? They said, you know what? You paying for this wig, we gonna give you extra hair. And as far as the curls, the hair is super duper soft. It is definitely a whole lot, a whole lot of hair. I'm trying to get all of this hair in frame. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the curl pattern. I'm happy that I didn't cut the ends because I kind of like this look at the end. So it's not like blunt and it's just giving like light curls. That's what it's looking like on the sides. Girl, you can barely tell it's the closure. Unless the wind blow real hard, wouldn't nobody know. Don't even worry about it. Y'all tell me what you think about this unit down below. Y'all know, if you a lot of hair sort of girl, this is for you. Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I will leave a link for this unit down below in the description box. I also will leave a coupon code because y'all know I don't like to leave y'all hanging, especially after the new year. You gotta save them coins. I'll go ahead and leave a coupon code down below as well. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I don't know why I was just holding this when I was reading. Let's take a sip or something.